question. This is Dan. And this is Pete. Sorry about the mask. Hopefully it comes across all right. Um, <laughs> so we recapped our eight count basic. Foot facing this way. Follows on the right foot. Knees on the knee. So eight count basic follows our right. drop step. Triple step. 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 Forward step. We then built on our bust out that we did last week. So if you want to check out the bust out move, please feel free to do that. That would be a great reminder. Um, and we recapped the lead first four counts. So we had the lead moving front. One, two, three, and four. So we do it from the side. Let's do it from the side. So you can just see where Dan's going. One, two, three, and four. Notice by three, I'm already in front. Yep. So Dan uses the step, count, step on count two to help travel. The so one, two, two, three, and two. Yep. Follow the first angle spot, that's ready for. We then looked at doing a sideways rock step. So we had this rock the side. and the lead step back and release us. So a lot happens on this count five. We get this nice clean five to the side, and the leads use their elbows to help move me to the side. They then release on the V of five. By the end of five. Or so they can step backwards on six, but I keep going this way. They don't take me with them for count six. So three and four here, we get this five, six. six. And then we can step on four, seven and eight to face each other. So if we do it from this way, we have a one, two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and an eight. Yeah. So that was our first move. We put that in a little sequence. Oh, so after that, we used our drift back to close that we did last week as well. So check that video. So we had two basics our bust out to the side, and then a drift back to close. One, two, three, and four. the leads rotate um, that, that that rock step on count five. Yep. So now rather than turn 90 degrees, you want to lead to follow through yourself over your shoulder. If we start facing the side, so you can see how it looks. So one, two, three, and four, and three, six, seven, and eight. So it's that same five, six feeling for the leads. So from our three and four, three and four here, they still have to sit with the hip and shoulder in the front or a five. So you want to look over your right shoulder and a five, five and six, six, seven, and so back. The same release at the end of five. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. We put that in our little sequence as well. Same thing.
to swing out, when the leaves first come around for their bust out, we'll do it facing this way, they slightly offset so that it gives space for the followers to stay on a straight line when we do the step open on five. When I come through, one, two. Then slightly offset to me. Yeah, slightly to me. So this means on count five, when we step through on count five, we can look half nice and close. We spoke about trying to almost have our toes touching. On count five, six, seven, and eight. The red carpet. The follows are in the red carpet. Yeah, leads you got to get off it. Yeah. So we put this all together. We did two basics, our swing out, and then our gentle Lindy circle. So Thank you so much.